Southeast Georgia have just begun their harvest this year, and some say they're already seeing some devastating numbers. WTOC's Lindsay Stanger was in Scriven County today, following up with farmers after last month's destructive hurricane. Scriven County farmers are estimating a nearly 50% yields loss over this entire year, which not only could affect this year's income for themselves, but also could threaten their entire livelihood. Because what you work hard for all your life is on the ground. Back to back storms ripped through Georgia farmlands. Farmers were hopeful that they were able to salvage some crops of the floods of Tropical Storm Debbie, but with Helene's high winds, most crops didn't have a fighting chance. We had a pretty good crop going into this fall, but I would say half of it blew away. If you had dry land peanuts, we was dry, we was wet, we was dry, we was wet, we was flooded, and we're starting to harvest now, and we're not sure how the yield is going to be. While some rural farms can rely on government assistance, others aren't so lucky. On Friday, the United States Department of Agriculture announced a list of counties that were eligible for insurance for 2024 crops. Scriven County was not one. I was really disappointed when I got the, the news about it. Uh, we weren't going to be in the designated area. Leaving farmers here feeling forgotten. Could be the difference between getting your loans paid out and trying to refinance. The Department of Agriculture Commissioner Tyler Harper told WTOC when discussing the impacts of Helene, saying, quote, now the future is uncertain for far too many Georgia farmers and farm families who were devastated by Hurricane Helene. That is why we're working around the clock with state, federal, and industry leaders to deliver a much needed aid to Georgia farmers and producers as quickly as possible. Pecan farmers facing even longer rebuilding times, not only affecting this year's crop, but crops for years to come. The problem is so many trees are damaged and they won't be back next year. It'll take four or five years for them to come back. Another financial strife in an already struggling industry. Farmers are left hoping for a better year next year. Griffin County, Lindsey Stanger, WTOC News.